Today is going to be an amazing day. We're going to be opening up all of these Disney cards here on the table, which is about 40 different die casts. Man, this is going to be awesome. I don't know about you guys, but opening cards is like a stress reliever to me. I don't know if it's the scent of the die cast or the sound of tearing the blister off the cardboard, but it just really helps me mentally and I've been in need of some stress relief lately. So I was just like, you know what? We're just going to open up all the cars I've neglected to review and open over pretty much the last year and a half. You can see some pretty old ones in here and along with some new ones as well. So let's just get right into it. All right, so I got cars on either side of us here, and we're just going to start on the left here with a rather boring Dynaco Cruz Ramirez variant, along with the bonus collector card. So as you guys probably know, this Dynaco Cruz has the metallic decals, whereas all of the ones before her had just regular painted blue decals. So you can see that they're darker and have a little bit more of a shine. And of course we have the collector card, which I love these things. These things are very well made and the graphics are fantastic. But don't forget the little clip that, you know, it would go on, but I don't actually see it. There it is. Man, I thought I lost it there for a moment. I was like, wait a second. Did I get like an air where it was not included? But sure enough, it is there. Perfect. So we're going to go through these as quickly as possible so I don't waste your guys' time. I know like back in the day with Hot Wheels, they used to do like how many cars you could open so quickly or whatever. There was like a contest, but this isn't a contest. We're just going to do this for fun. And man, these two blisters came off super easily. But this is one of the ones with a mini poster and a collector card. This is one of my favorite collector cards for sure. It does pain me a little bit to open up all these duplicates. You know, for Cruz, I didn't have that variant, so it's okay. But for McQueen here, and we'll begin on to like Luigi and Guido and more. I already have them loose, and we're just opening them to get the collector card. But, you know, it's what you gotta do. I bought extras just for this purpose. And since, you know, you may have not seen the mini poster, I will show you guys. It just shows all the 2017 mainline releases, which is actually pretty nice that they included all of them. It's actually a very nice poster. Even on the back, you have Deluxe in two packs. Awesome. Some of these never made it to the US, like Jocko Flacco Mac, the Light Your Blimp, and Stu Scatter Shields. Now you may be kind of curious because Stu Scatter Shields and the Blimp will not be reviewed or I should say open in this video, and that's because I deem them good enough for their own videos. They are worthy of their own reviews, so just be patient. They will be out in the next couple weeks because here, I'll tell you guys the secret as to why I'm doing this video now, in addition to the stress relief, if I can get this open. There we go. The tape really makes it difficult, and we'll have a lot of those today. But anyway, I'm doing this right now because I really want to do my collection video soon, my entire collection video. And to do that, I want to have all these cars open and, you know, admits my collection. Because if I didn't, there'd be a lot of gaps. Like you have Louise Nash and then two blank spaces for Junior Moon and River Scott. Because it's kind of what I do with my display case. I leave spaces open for the cars I anticipate on opening soon. And so yeah, it would just not look right. So that's why I was like, you know what? We gotta do this sometime or another. There's no chance I'll be able to review all of these in the next like month or two. And I really want to get it out before Christmas. So you can expect my entire collection video probably again in two parts like I did before to come out sometime in mid-November. So here we have Rusty's Lightning McQueen. We have a new collector card. I plan to use these extra die casts in giveaways on Google Plus for the Piston Quiz. And if you don't know what that is, feel free to join my community and check it out. It's kind of like a game. I also might do an Instagram giveaway as well. Because, I mean, what am I going to do with all these extras? I mean, this is a lot. I have a lot of Rusty's McQueens now, you know, with all the ones that come in those Amazon multi packs as well. So we're going to clip this guy up and put him off to the side. Up next is Jackson Storm. So I'm starting off a little boring here, just getting all these collector card ones out of the way. But don't worry, we'll get to some exciting ones very, very soon. 
some of these collector cards are just so cool. I cannot wait to put them on display because they are great display pieces to have. All right, we got another mini poster. Sweet. It is the same as the other one that I showed you guys. All right, I was thinking about doing this in a live stream, but I felt like I would just kind of go on too long and it would not make for an enjoying video because I would just ramble and ramble and answer you guys' questions. But I will do a live stream soon. It just won't be a kind of big unboxing one like I thought of doing. So here's Fabulous Lightning McQueen, another awesome collector card. And I think this is his third collector card. Actually, it's his fourth. We'll get to the other one as well. The last one, which is Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen. Can't believe he has so many. All right, we got another poster. I'm going to run out of room over here. All right, what should be next? Yeah, we'll do that other Lightning McQueen with the Rusty's Racing Center card. This is an amazing one. Look at that shine. That looks amazing. So nice and simple as well. All right, let's get you out of here. Looking good as always. Let's get the clip out. We'll clip them up. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below. Out of all these cars that I unbox, which one is your favorite? I know it's going to be probably pretty hard to decide since there's so many, but try for me here we have the 2018 variation of sally with a collector card as well stupid tape just ruins the package all right here we go with the collector card looking pretty cool for the cozy Home motel which is her business they did that for most of the townies like mather luigi and guido ramon they did not do like a Sally, like where the collector card just said Sally or something like that. They made it unique to their business, which I think was definitely a good move. Sally looks fantastic. We will also be unboxing another variation of Sally today. So don't forget about her just yet. All right, let's go Junior Moon, a brand new character. Wow, that came off easy. He looks great. Lighter than I thought. Hmm. He's very, very light. His collector card has him on it back in the day when he was a big popular racer. Of course, now he doesn't really race anymore. One of Doc's friends, of course. All right, let's get these out of the way here. I have the garbage can right next to me as well, so it's very convenient. Rusty's Cruz Ramirez. I don't have this one loose, so I am very happy to open this one. Let's get that collector card out first so I don't forget the clip. I'm bound to forget one of these. Like That's why I'm trying to clip them all up, but I feel like I'm going to forget one. I like this one a lot too. It really matches her design. And here is Rusty's Cruz herself. Probably my favorite variation of Cruz. Too bad it didn't last too long, only for one race, and then she switched over to Dynaco. All right, who we got? Sterling collector card. Again, pains me to open up this variation or this duplicate, my bad. I'm getting all mixed up. But yeah, I already have Sterling. There's nothing different about this version. Now what would have been nice is if they had like the Thailand case with the collector card so you can get a variation out of opening them because you know all the made in Thailand cards are slightly different than the China ones which are the ones we're opening now. I will get to a, a Thailand car momentarily though. This collector card looks pretty nice, nice and blue, Rusty's Racing Center. Ooh, the clip fell off, there we go. I like saving these little name tags as well, so it's a whole lot for me to keep track of. But yeah, look what the tape does. Look at what it does. Gosh, I hate that. All right, let's move on now to Buck Bearingly. Collector card. I'm sure some people will like to have this one if I include him in a giveaway. 
would probably be one of the more popular candidates. I love his collector card. I will definitely set it up with all my Piston Cup Racers. Corrective Windshields. Viewzine. Sweet, sweet. And let's get Buck out of there. I really wish there was some sort of variation that would make him a little bit more worth it to unbox, but there's not. So how are you guys' days going? How's your life going? I feel like we need to catch up. I haven't done a live stream in a while, so I haven't been able to really talk like one-on-one -on -one with you guys, which I always like to do in those live streams. I think my last live stream was like nine months ago. That's how it should be. It should come off nice and easy like that. Just saying. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Here we have a Florida 500 plate or collector card. Pretty generic though. And Chris Rebskopsky, the flag waiver for Cars 3. Whereas for Cars 1, it was Dexter Hoover. And Cars 2, we had three different ones for each of the races. Ooh, is the flag going to be a pain to get in there? Probably. So we'll probably do that later. It's held in there pretty weekly right now, but she looks great. I have to say, I've been looking forward to opening her for a while. We'll set her off to the side. I'm running out of room on the right side here, if you guys wanna see. You got all that going on over there, it's ridiculous. All right, get the name tag out of here. Blister out. Let's go River Scott next. But I do plan on doing a live stream very soon. In fact, I was thinking about doing it, you know, today, like I was saying. But I was like, nah, Sundays aren't the best day. Like, I don't know when I'll be uploading this, but I'm recording it on Sunday. Did I say recording it? I meant to say recording. But again, River Scott's very light. Him and Junior Moon are very, very light. They don't feel too hefty. But oh well, still a cool car. And here we go with his collector card when he was in his glory days, of course. Perfect. Let's get that name tag out of there. So I'm thinking maybe like next Saturday, next Friday, I'll do a live stream because Friday and Saturday are some pretty good days for that kind of stuff since most people aren't too busy. You know, they're not worrying about school on Sunday. People watch football. And then they're like, yeah, I need to finally do my homework since I have school tomorrow. So Sundays aren't the best days for live streams, at least in my opinion. Here we have Darren Leadfoot. Just got one of him out of the Carbon Cyber Pack from Amazon. So now I have another one, but this collector card makes it all worth it. I like how, you know, you got the Viewzine one and you got this one. They all look pretty sweet together when you put them together. All right. What should we do next? We're kind of running out of collector card ones here now. Let's get that name tag, blister. Hmm. All right, we do have one more name tag, or actually two. We have Mater here, which there are so many Maters out there. I don't know why, but I feel like of all the cards with collector cards, here's the easiest one to get. Normal Mater looking good. We got a poster and the Towing and Salvage Radiator Springs collector card. Looks pretty good when you put it like with Luigi's and then you got Sally's and Ramon's, which I already opened up a long time ago in my review of Florida Ramon. All right, come on, are you serious? You have to make me go and get it myself. All right, let's get the poster out. Now the final one or maybe yeah i think it's the last one or second the last one with the collector card here we have tailgate i do not have this one loose just yet so another good reason to open her and yes tailgate is a female even though it may not look like it and there's a thailand variation of tailgate that i'm looking for and there's actually quite a few thailand variations i need i need petro cartolina rusty's racing center mcqueen i think maybe even buck bearingly as well she feels hefty, I like that. The Greasy Grill Barbecue, bring the pain, awesome. Kind of a weird collector card to have, you know, for a demolition derby car, 
Reminds me of what we'll be opening up in just a moment here. Where is it? Yeah, with liability or airborne, my bad. Look at that. You have that sign in there that is like kind of a play, more of a accessory to play with, whereas this is for display. But both feature wild bills. All right, let's get that name tag out. I really hate this tape. Really do. Okay, Rich Mixon is next. Again, another one. This one hurts me the most to open because Rich is pretty rare on this package with the collector card, but we're going to do it anyway. That one felt good because there was no tape. Nice. This one will be really popular in a giveaway. All right, we got... This is also a fantastic collector card. Nice and simple. I remember when I first bought Rich Mixon and I reviewed him, it was the one without the collector card. And if I was just a little more patient, just a little more, I would have been able to do it all in one fell swoop, but I was impatient. Let's do this Thailand Bobby Swift now. I kind of want to have some of the Thailand variations open just to have. I don't need all of them open, but I thought Bobby looked pretty interesting nice and shiny has a different feel to him made in thailand look at that all right let's put him aside name tag aside blister aside now let's move on to the radiator springs classics from last year we have primer lightning mcqueen I actually got this one at marshall's for a pretty good price I did review the other Primer McQueen, you know, the one with the telephone, but this one I never did. Nice. He's got a nice feel to him, a nice matte finish. Looking all sad. Come on, McQueen. You got everything going for you. All right, let's move on to Sally. I told you we'd be doing another Sally today, also from Marshalls. Sally with Tattoo, which we've already gotten in 2014, but this one is quite a bit different than that. It matches like the new style of Sally. They actually changed her model and everything. It's kind of ridiculous. They like squished her a little bit, you know, before it was more flat and then they just kind of compressed her, I guess. That's the simplest way of saying it. Nice. Two more Sallys to add to the display. What else do we have here? I think we need to open up Ramon, the intro Ramon. Focus, please. We have two Ramones to open as well. You can see the other one in the back left. Awesome. This is definitely one of my favorite Ramones ever. Can we get them open? This tape's just killing me, man. It's wasting so much time. All right, here we go. Gorgeous. What a great car, seriously. Could look at this one all day. All right, let's get the name tag out. Just tear off the Band-Aid. <laughs> that really was tearing off the Band-Aid. All right, need to clean up here a little bit. We should do like an intermission. So I feel like I'm like racing, but I don't want to take your entire day to open all this stuff. We have Red Meeker here from the Thomasville line. I had to get this one line from a friend. I was about to say on eBay, but I was like, no, I didn't get him on eBay. Never found him in a store. I found multiples of all the other five, but him, he's pretty elusive. Racing for Gasprin. Kind of ironic. I wish they did like the same sponsors that they have in real life or currently, or I guess, you know, that they did because Red Meeker got fired. He got replaced by Rich Mixon for Tank Coat. All right, now we're getting to the old stuff. Let's wait on the old stuff, actually. Actually, no, we'll do one oldie, Carbon Racer Frosty. I kind of miss these days where you know, you collect the entire series of 
I don't know, the truck, whatever they called it, carbon racers. And then at the end of the year, they had the Australian variant, frosty, either ice, carbon, silver, whatever it was. And you'd always have to like really struggle to get them because of course they're only available in Australia. But yeah, he looks pretty sweet. Back in the days where also they didn't tape the blisters. My garbage can is overfilling, overflowing. All right, here we have the Demolition Derby. Lightning McQueen is Chester Whippa filter with the barrels. Hmm, tape. There we go. Now these also have rubber tires. They were exclusive to Walmart. I still see about a thousand of this one on the pegs. The other ones are pretty much gone. I like the expression. Rubber tires feel good for sure. And the barrels are cool as well. Even though some of the Demolition Derby cars, like two of them have the barrels, maybe even three. I just wish they switched them up a little bit. Maybe even like change the color. Like I think on, yeah, liability. Oh, they did change the color. Mattel, thank you. Answering my prayers. So yeah, we'll go with those two next. Liability and Airborne. I never was a big fan of them. First of all, I don't even know really where they appeared in the whole Demolition Derby. And second, I don't know, they just aren't as appealing as like Jambalaya or something like that. So here we go with liability. What does he say? Does it say seek destiny? Oh no, seek and destroy. I was like, I thought it said something really meaningful, like seek your destiny, but no, seek and destroy. Very small rubber tires there though. Oh well, let's get these barrels out. I like that they are darker colors. You can see here, you know, darker blue and then a darker orangish red. Set those aside. Let's go on now to Airborne. This one comes with a sign. I think it is a little different than the other one. Yeah. Yeah, it's different than the one that came with like Jambalaya. Or no, I think it came with Bill. He had a motor oil sign, whereas Airborne here has a Wild Bill sign. He's got treads on the back tires. The fronts are flat. And he doesn't really say much, just says 90. Probably one of my least favorite Demolition Derby cars. Here we go with the sign. You can like send your car through it and it will break. Kind of a cool accessory. I'm just throwing all my garbage on the floor now. It's getting bad. All right, let's go Carbon Carnival. My bad, Carnival Racer Max Schnell. You know, the most fun part about this is when I put them all in their display because I save spots for them all. So it'll be so easy to just slide them in there and everything will look complete. Like right now, if there was like a progress bar on my collection, it'd be like 87%. And then once I fill all these, it'll be almost complete with everything that I have to offer. And then after this, I just need to do stew scatter shields, the light your blimp, that target piston cup race pack with Mater with the hat some precision series stuff and we'll be good to go for the collection video in November. Here is Carnival Racer Nigel Gearsley. Telling you, I don't know how I did not review all these Carnival Racers because these came out like almost two years ago. This variant of McQueen with the yellow tires, the one before had orange tires. And this was actually one of the few series, I think it actually was the only one, the only T-Rock series where they did not make a Frosty exclusive. I think it's because they ran the Carbon and Carnival series like along the same timeline. They were both pretty much going at the same time. 
So I guess they just chose the one that they started first, which was carbon, or the one they thought was the most popular, which probably was carbon. More realistic. Even though I really like the carnival racers a lot. Here's Miguel Camino. He doesn't look that different. So he's probably one of my least favorites. I do love the tires though. One last carnival racer we have here is Lewis Hamilton. I really wish Lewis Hamilton appeared in Cars 3, but it was just his voice. I don't know. I didn't really like that, to be completely honest with you, the computerized voice of Lewis Hamilton. Pretty nice carnival racer, though. All right. So we have one more T-Rock car to do over here, which is... Carbon Racer Francesco Bernoulli. I got this from Malaysia, where it costs 37.9 whatever currency they have over there. Sweet. Wow. This guy looks awesome. I love the big spoiler they put on Francesco. It just looks so strange, but it's strange enough that it looks good. All right. Now we're gonna move on to some more substantial things. Actually, we'll do the road trip cars. Road trip Sally, never released with a trailer. She has this suitcase on top though with a hitch and the tattoo. Wow, that makes for three variations of Sally all in one day. But you can see how they changed the model of her, which is just a little strange, but it's good because it's a correction. So like this is old Sally. These two on the left and right are the new version, the new sculpt. Now what I'm going to do next will pain me as well. A lot of pain in this video along with stress relief. Luigi and Guido from the Road Trip series, they are very, very rare. But we're gonna open them anyway. I think I have an extra anyway to keep in the package somewhere in my bins. So it's not a big deal. I have to say, this Guido is fantastic. But first we have Luigi here. He's okay. He's just okay. Guido is great though. With the suitcases all stacked up. Awesome. Reminds me of like Trent Croto with those suitcases in his little carrier. One last, actually no. Whenever I say there's one last, and then there's like, oh yeah, there's one more. After Flo, we have to do Sheriff. Flo also never was released with a trailer, which makes sense, because you know, you'd assume that her husband Ramon would carry all of their belongings. She does have some luggage though, and the nice pair of sunglasses. I wish they put them down, like, just put them down. Like, use conviction, just, don't put them on top, just looks a little strange. But they did put them down on Sheriff, who we'll be doing next, which maybe is the reason why they didn't do it on Flow, so they have like that variety, but still, it would have been cool if they put it down on Flow as well. Now, Sheriff came with a trailer here. He also was released just, you know, by himself as a single, but there's no need to open that when you can get him along with the trailer. Sweet. This trailer is probably the most boring one though, just cause it's just gray. But inside we got some cones and some oil cans. Nice. Now that is it for the road trip stuff. All right, put this off to the side. Next up we have this Ramon and Flo 2 pack, which is pretty new. I just found it a couple weeks ago at Target. And now I find it every time I go to Target. There's so many of these along with the Eric Breaker and Spiky Phillips two pack. It's like, I couldn't find them for a month, like a month and a half. Whoa, 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 whoa. I couldn't find them for like a month and a half and then all of a sudden they are completely abundant. Abundant. But hopefully I didn't ship Ramon there. Oh man. Always look on the edges. Cause that's where they're down the chip first. But yeah, this is also kind of a new version of Ramon. 
new styling with the paint and expression. I think the sculpt is the same though. All right, he looks fine to me. I did see like a glimmer, like that glimmer right there come off. I really don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh well. Here is Flow. Now this Flow is the same as the one that came in the Radiator Springs Classic line last year. So that's why I don't need to open up that single. Sweet. Awesome, all right. So now we're moving on to the big ticket items back there. We have a four pack with the Racing Legends in it. This is only available in Europe, so I had to get one from a friend, thankfully. Where's my tea? My tea, all right, we got it. There's too much stuff going on here, too much. I hope this video didn't run too long, but it definitely feels like it's going more than 20 minutes, which, you know, it's fine. Sometimes you just gotta have these little longer videos where you can sit down and relax, get cozy. Now the only two new cars in here are Heyday Junior Moon and Heyday Louise Nash because these two are obviously the same as before. Let me see if I can find Junior Moon. Yeah, so it's not a big difference, but you can kind of tell that the paint is slightly different. There's no sparkles in it, or I don't know if you would consider that sparkles or just like aging of the metal, but he's pretty clean. He should have the number 11 right there on the side door, but they neglected to do that. Louise's Nash paints a little more fresh, but I do not have her on hand right now. We'll just set them in the back. And last but not least is the Radiator Springs Cars Collection from Disneyland. I really need that gold Radiator Springs racer in there. It's the only reason I bought this because I already have everything else that's in there. I'm just gonna tear this box open. It's already been through enough. I went to Disneyland almost two years ago and bought this, so it's been waiting a while. All right, so there it is, looking pretty cool. And I guess I'll open it later. They got wires in there connecting it. So that is all for the unboxing. Jesus. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be one heck of a cleanup. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this mega unboxing of like 40 cars. And I will see you guys next time for another video. Let me know in the comment section below which car is your favorite of all of these. I mean, sure, we got some boring ones in here like Mater, but we also have some pretty exciting ones in here as well. All right. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.